All right, guys, let's do this. Another reaction video. And Def Arena, if you're watching this, I really apologize. Hey, well, you can go to your seat now. All right, thank you. Yeah. And Def, you. you're welcome. And Def Arena, if you're watching this, I really apologize that I haven't done reactions to see your viewers in so long because I've been so busy with work and other stuff. So, anyways, let's do this. Oh wow, I like your new intro, dude. Oh, Ninja Turtles. Oh, Mario. Oh, is that my little pony? Oh, it is my little pony. Oh, wow, I love your new intro, dude. Rescue teams come in countless forms. They can consist of humans, robots, aliens, etc. But some of them are filled with animals, even young ones. And every rescue team needs a great leader. Chase, the police pup and leader of the Paw Patrol. And Kion, son of Simba and leader of the Lion Guard. Classic case of dog versus cat. And yes, you guys, I have seen the movie. I haven't seen the show The Lion Guard. I haven't seen that show in years, though. Which of these young heroes is the better leader? Chase. Will be tested as only one can survive in the arena of death. Chase is back on Death Arena. The last time Chase was on the show, he and the Paw Patrol took on the FNAF animatronics. But now, he's facing the leader of another rescue team. Now, let's review this puppy. Chase is a German Shepherd pup. His occupation for the Paw Patrol is being second in command, a police and super spy pup. His job is to protect the innocent from harm and keep the town of Adventure Bay safe. In order to do so, he would need some very useful equipment. For this battle, Chase will be limited to his base pup pack and mighty pup abilities. Chase has a megaphone for whenever he needs to use it. Like all Paw Patrol members, Chase has a pup tag that he can use to make calls to Ryder, the lookout, and his fellow members, as well as make video calls to said members. Chase's normal pup pack contains a spotlight, megaphone, tennis ball cannon, and net. Being a German Shepherd, Chase likely has a bite force of 238 PSI. Chase has an extremely strong sense of smell which he can use to track down anything, but in the series, his allergies to cats and feathers sometimes cause his trouble. He has been shown to be able to communicate with animals such as beavers and owls. Chase may not seem like a fighter, but he is actually highly skilled in a martial art made specifically for canines called pup food. And the best is yet to come. When Chase is in need of a power boost, he can absorb the energy of a meteor to become Mighty Chase. As a Mighty Pup, he can run at the speed of light, deploy energy nets, and after he becomes charged up, he can unleash a sonic bark, which is strong enough to launch a falling meteor back into space. It is also noteworthy that Chase can use his speed to create tornadoes strong enough to hold up the Paw Patrol lookout tower and a giant robot. But Chase has a few weaknesses. He isn't usually one for fighting, and has all always had his friends by his side on most of his missions. He also tends to have self-doubt problems. He became a leader in less than a day, and after making a few mistakes, he doubted himself so badly. But in the end, he accepted his role as a leader and proved to be the best police dog there is. Overall, Chase is a police pup with unique gadgets and abilities. While he may not be much of a fighter, he's willing to do whatever it takes to protect others and- And yes, I do have Paw Patrol Grand Prix, by the way. ...uphold the laws. Ready for action, fighter, sir! The Pride Lands were in need of a group of heroes to protect it from predators like hyenas, crocodiles, jackals, and enemy lions. Luckily, they had the perfect team for the job, the Lion Guard. The tradition of the team is to be led by the second-born child of the Pride Lands monarch. For this team, the leader was a cub named Kion. Kion is the son and youngest child of Simba and Nala, and the younger brother of Kiera. For this battle, we will only be using feats from Kion's time as a cub. Kion is described as a cub who defies tradition 
as he has assembled a guard that consists of creatures other than lions. In this way, he's open to other species and ready to give others a chance of making a difference in situations. One time, Kion and his friend Bunga went out to play in the Pride Lands. Bunga ended up being captured by a group of hyenas. Kion then got infuriated and he let out a mighty roar, which scared the hyenas away. This roar is known as the Roar of the Elders. A roar that's been used by the leaders of the Lion Guard in the past. With this roar, Kion can cause volcanic eruptions, lift boulders, create strong winds, stop flowing rivers, and cause small tremors. The roar isn't the only thing Kion uses in battle. Being a lion, Kion also uses his claws and teeth to fight off his enemies. A lion's bite force is able to reach over 650 psi. Kion is also strong enough to fight adult lions, and other bigger animals. In terms of speed, he's fast enough to dodge lightning, which means he can dodge attacks moving at 270,000 miles per hour. Wow, that's a, a lot. Or can also be used on a cloud to produce rain, or even summon a bolt of lightning. Kion is extremely fierce and strategic, but he has a good share of flaws. When angered, Kion has less control of his roar. Also, if he uses the roar for bad intentions, he will lose its power permanently. Overall, for his age, Kion is very fierce and strong. His roar is capable of manipulating earth, air, and weather, but if he is angered, he could lose control. We're the Lion Guard, Jaja. We defend the circle of life. You and your kind are not welcome in the province, ever. Alright, let's get ready for combat. This battle will take place in the Pride Lands, and there is no prep time. With all of that out of the way, it's time to see who will survive in the arena of death. Alright, let's do this. Whoa. Whoa! Oh, jeez. Oh boy. Oh boy. All right, come on, Chase. Oh! Oh, damn! Where in the heart? KO! What a crushing defeat.
Kion may be the more skilled and possibly stronger of the two, as well as had deadlier teeth and claws, but Chase's much wider arsenal and speed had him outmatched. Keep in mind that in this battle, Chase went up against Cub Kion, who is only a few years old. Chase technically had far more experience when it came to life-risking adventures. With his tools, Chase would be able to keep Kion at a distance for a little while, but the Cub would eventually be able to break through. What really gave Chase the victory was his mighty pup abilities. With these powers, Chase could run at the speed of light and use a hypersonic bark. It's true that Kion is fast enough to dodge lightning, but that's child's play compared to what Chase can do. Kion can dodge attacks moving 270,000 miles an hour, while Chase can move at the speed of light. <coughs> this means that Chase is 2,481 times faster. And now, it's time to talk about Kion's greatest weapon, the Roar. Some of you are probably thinking that the Roar should be able to send Chase flying to his death, and in some cases, it could. But the thing is, Chase has been in the middle of storms with similar wind power to the Roar. There's also the fact that if Kion got angry enough, he wouldn't have enough control over the roar, and Chase could take advantage of that. There's also the fact that Chase could also send Kion flying with his hypersonic bark, which would be easy to do if he got close enough. And considering Chase's enormous speed advantage, that would be no problem for the pup. Kion may have been the more fierce of the two, but Chase's wide arsenal, superior speed, and experience won the day. I'd say this was a close battle, but that would be Lion. The winner is Chase the Police Pup. Alright, Chase! If you want to see a total war between the Paw Patrol and the Lion Guard, please like this video. If this video gets to 300 likes, there will be a total war. Alright guys, that's my conclusion. So, thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe. Until next time, goodbye!